This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. This video I'm going to show you how to make a very cool desert type map, uh, kind of a science fiction type desert map, uh, very easily, very quickly. All right, so first things first, we need to go to Quixel Bridge. And what I've done here is I've gone to the, uh, the desert sand surfaces. So uh, we go to sand and then uh, desert here. And I've downloaded the golden, the red, and then the bright. Now you can download pretty much anyone you want, but the beach ones don't look very good uh, for this particular uh, app here. And uh, in this case, I would just like to download these three. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's hop back into the um, Unreal here. Let's open up a new level. We'll just make it the default level. And we're just gonna add in a terrain and we might as well just move that down just a bit here. And what we're gonna do is we can type in sand and I'm gonna go with the bright desert sand. Now we can actually play around with these other ones uh, right now, but I'm just gonna go with the bright desert sand. And there you go, that looks pretty good. Now there's a couple things that uh, you see here. First, you see that the it looks a bit wet shiny we don't want that and the second it looks a bit too small uh, as in the ripples here so uh in order to fix that it's actually quite easy let's hop into where mega sand surfaces and we need to find the bright desert sand yes okay so let's open that up and i'm just going to kind of move that over here because we might be playing around with it first things first let's check the tile here to point two and point two that should be good here the second thing we're going to do is do the base specular and i'm going to bring it down and i don't think yeah so the <laughs> The base specular, we're just going to make zero for now. Okay, let's go ahead and push save here. And that should change it up a bit. So now we get much less of that here. We get that kind of dryness uh, here. Uh, and I think that looks pretty good uh, for now. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to hop in and basically make some, some mountains here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into my sculpt. And the tool strength, I'm going to make fairly big. And I'm also going to change the brush size to be very big here. And that's a bit too much, a bit too much tool strength. But basically, all we're going to do is we're just going to make some mountains. And by mountains, I mean dunes. And I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more because we really want most of this map uh, to be just dunes. All right. Now, this is actually one biome that I actually haven't been to, to like a major desert here. And that's something it's on my to do list. But, you know, traveling as of late is kind of tricky. So on my to do list, uh, and I'm just going to basically make something for the player here. But that's not really what I'm looking to do. And you just kind of want to basically jot this around. All right, there we go. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to smooth all of this out and it might not seem like an important step, but it is. All right. So we're going to just smooth all this stuff out here. And I think that's pretty good. And one thing we want to do is I do want to move in here, go back to the sculpt here, and I'm going to change the brush size down to this here. And I'm just going to basically create a small little mound right kind of like this right and it's a bit too much so like that and then just kind of move it up here and there we go all right too much of a mound get the idea let's smooth that out a bit there we go okay cool so there we go that's exactly what we're looking to do and we'll kind of put then the next thing we're going to do is this already looks pretty decent, by the way, but what we're thinking we're gonna do is we're just gonna add in a cube, uh, not a sphere. You could, you could use a sphere here, but I'm just gonna use a cube and then I'm also gonna scale this up quite a bit here, okay? And then on top of this, right, um, let's see. On top of this, I'm just gonna select this cube here and just move it up to the top of this kind of like that. Okay, so that's all it has to be a cube, by the way. And then all we're going to do with the cube is find the materials here. And then we can give it a metal color like chrome, right? So we have this basically like a spherical, uh, well, not a spherical, but like a metal type thing in the middle of the sand. And this, you know, would be kind of interesting, right? So you can kind of take a look here and, um, you know, kind of add it in here. And we have, let's see, kind of move down a bit. And there we go. So we got this one cube 
that's very out of place in the middle of the sand. All right. So there you go. That's pretty easy, pretty basic. Um, so for the most part, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it here. Now you can maybe make it a sphere here. Now, if you really want it, actually, what you really want, could do is you can kind of move this up to the top here. Um, and then um, if you really wanted to, so what you would do is you would kind of take the location of this and then paste it in here. And that's probably good enough. But let's take the this one here, the x and the y you want to be the exact same. And then if you really wanted to to make this kind of really interesting in science fiction, uh, you could scale this up kind of uh, maybe that big, move it up, and then copy this up here again. But for each particular one, you're just going to make it a bit smaller, right? Um, did I make that a sphere? I did and move that down. That's a bit too small, but you get the idea, right? And so we're going to move that up here and then kind of looks like a snowman as of now, but don't worry. Once we add in a couple more things, actually, it would be best if you did six of these, but that might take a bit long. So you don't want them too small. Um, and then, yeah, I think maybe one more for now. And then kind of smaller like that, right? And so we got this here and there we go. Just kind of move that down here. And then you can basically pick, you know, you can make these um, metal. You can kind of pick a different metal here. Uh, you can make that. Let's not make that one copper. Let's make that one different. Um, so metal. Uh, rust, steel, that looks good. And then this one here can be gold. Right. And then this one here can be, let's see, I mean, you in theory, you can make it rust. Let's see if I type in metal, what do we have? We have nickel, brushed steel, steel, let's see, uh, chrome, copper, brushed nickel, yeah, and then this one will be copper. Uh, keep on pushing the wrong copper. Okay, so there you go. So here you go. You can kind of see that <laughs> this kind of looks neat. And then if I really wanted to to do this here, right, I would put all of these down a bit so that like it's in there, like the sands of time have done that here. So it's so something that's pretty basic, pretty easy to do. Um, and then the cool thing is to get this at the right angle. So like, usually, if you kind of look like that, that looks kind of cool. And there you go, maybe get the shadow in there. So cool, proper angle. And there we go. All right. So there we go. That's how you make kind of like a science fiction type thing uh, within uh, and real here. So um, that's pretty simple, pretty basic stuff. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials to game development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to web development tutorials and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.